Go on and take Clark Peters from HBO The Wire on the Midnight Hour Radio Show. Clark, what's going on, man? Ain't nothing but the rent, buddy. Ain't nothing but the rent. Hey! Hey, hey, how y'all doing over there? What time is it there? It's 11.10. Past my bedtime. (laughs) Clark, man, I'll tell you something. We tried to call over the pond, man. It wouldn't let us. It wouldn't let us. You know, maybe it's something going on with them you wires under the though. ocean. Mm. Oh, man, you know, they, 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 some, sometimes they just don't want us to communicate. That's all Correct. I can say. Mm. But, right. Ain't that the truth? Technology. <laughs> yeah, but, with this, but, we, but we're here now. We're here now. Yes. You know, we, what is it over there in England about 4.10 in the morning? It's 4.10 in the morning, and uh, mm. I was hoping to speak like a little bit earlier because uh, I got a yoga class that I go to at about 4 o'clock in the uh, and uh, you know we, we've been doing like this meditation for peace for the past you know for the past uh, well for the past year or so. Mm. You know I was just on my way on over there, so I'm glad I'm, I'm glad y'all got on through because uh, I'm gonna have to cut this kind of short because I got to get on over and, and like pray for right. y'all. Right. Well, just let's get yeah, to the basics and tell us what you've been doing, man. You, you Clark Peters, The Wire, Treme, HBO. What you've been doing and what you're doing now. Well, right now I'm in London doing a uh, an Agatha Christie uh, story mm. for, for the BBC called Partners in Crime. It's a three part series, and uh, so I'm over here being the victim, <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> right. you had to only go to all return, here. only to return back there in about two weeks to work on another David Simon project uh, um, in Yonkers called Show Me a Hero, which deals with the. Um, the, the rehousing project that uh, that went on back in the in the uh, in the eighties, you know, you just sometimes you just can't take uh, people from from the projects and stick them into a, a, a nice townhouse without uh, uh, acclimatizing them. So um, it, it it deals with the, it deals with some of the issues of of what happened when we when uh, Yonkers tried to do that to some of its citizens. Right, right. I'm gonna okay. give give our guest real quick, guest host Mariah a, a chance to ask you a question real quick. Mariah. Yes, Clark. <laughs> yes, Mariah. <laughs> talk to well, me, baby. <laughs> I think we need to just change numbers and just talk. Get what do you room. think? <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these nosy people all up in our business. Get a room. <laughs> Tell you. Uh, Clark, what what is the um I guess what is the the most favorite project you've done so far that you feel the best about what you know what do you what do you think is your best that you put out there for us oh gosh that's uh mm-hmm. i think it's probably the most recent thing that we did with um with um hbo treme you know and um the reason why is because it it was filling spiritually um and intellectually for myself and Hmm. And also, we had an opportunity to shine some light on on the problems that uh, exist and existed in uh, New Orleans, which is, you know, one one of our national treasures. You know, we should uh, we should really hmm. covet that rather than just throw it aside. You know, as as people did during and pretty much after um, after Katrina. Hmm. You know, there's a to, you know, tomorrow. Well, tomorrow here, but uh, in, in about two days over there is is um, for example. Is uh, Columbus Day, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, well, all, you know all those all those Indians that I was representing down there. You know, that's the last thing they want to be uh, <laughs> uh, celebrating. Exactly. Right. right. Well, I'm gonna mm-hmm. pass the buck to Mike G. I know you gotta go soon. How you doing, sir? Hey, Mark. How are you, bro? I'm doing good. Um, how is it working with? I believe we uh, we did do an interview with the gentleman. Like said, uh, worked on the wire. How is that whole? That, do you guys have a really good time? Is it kind of stressful? How does that work out? With He's talking about Lance Reddick. Lance Reddick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, no, it was, it, was, uh, um, it was the first time that I ever worked with a group of actors in that medium who felt like a theater company. Mm. Okay. You know, um, mm-hmm. but, but I think that by the, by the time the third season came around, we saw the importance of what we were doing, you know, um, and since then, I think yeah, we, we've all realized how much of a blessing the whole experience was. But we stay in contact. I mean, you know, it, it, you know, I, I, the reason I got down to got down to New Orleans, I, I believe, is you know, not just because of uh, David Simon, but because of Wendell. You know, and uh, because that's his hometown. And he and and when yes. things went down, you know, I stepped up to Wendell and said, "Look, whatever we got to do, brother, you know, let, let's let's do it." You know. Uh, when we were 
still shooting the wire and uh and uh, and New Orleans was underwater. So mm-hmm. I think you know, I think he came back, you know, with with, with that, you know, knowing that I felt uh, some kindred spirit with that, you know. So and, and we do this. We do you know, we you know, I'm I'm in contact with, with, with Sonia, you know, she's dating with Jamie, you know, Michael at uh, once in a while will reach on out, you know, so we we do we do stay in contact. John Doman, who was you know his, who, whose wife sadly passed away this summer, we all got together mm-hmm. and just went on over to New York and and hung out with him to support him. You know, so that's you know well, that that's 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 how we work. Well, we just want to ask you two more questions, Rocky Thunder. Hey, Clark, how you doing? What's your name, baby? I didn't catch that. Rocky Thunder. Rocky Thunder. <laughs> Okay. This is the same young lady that answered the, f- the phone for you at first. <laughs> All right, Rocky. <laughs> well, my question is: um, is it is it hard to make a transition from from HBO series to CBS series? Is it hard or easy for you? Um, it it would be easy. Uh, well. Which se- which series are you talking about? Actually, for, for, are you like, talking about like something from The Wire to a Person of Interest? <laughs> person of Interest, right. yes. Well, it's a um, it's just two different uh, two different entities, you know. Um, and it was a bit of a, a, a bit of a leap because um, I didn't know who I was going to be in Person of Interest, mm-hmm. you okay. know. And and that's and that and that you know for me that that that's a good thing. I don't because life we we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow in our lives, you mm-hmm. know. So. Mm-hmm. I don't want to know the full story, but I was surprised to see who I was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> right, that right. was a shock to me too, baby. <laughs> sort of felt like Rocky Thunder. Oh, oh well. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the last question. Clark is with Marvetta. Come Did on, Marvetta. He... All right. I, I don't want to hold you up from your Don Wood dog, uh, if, to say the least. But I would <laughs> like to know, who have you not yet had the pleasure of working with? Because after oh. looking at your impressive uh, mm. bio, you've done some amazing work, uh, some of which I had, you know, you just see you and you say, I didn't know that guy's name, but yes, I remember him. But who have you not had the pleasure of working with yet that you would love to? Um, James L. Jones, mm. uh, Cicely Tyson, you know, uh, Whoopi, you know, and that's just in our community. I mean, I could go on right there. Right. Because you know, I've, I've spent so much time here in Europe, you know, that when I came back to America, it was a, uh, it was an eye-opener. I never, I never really expected to fall back in love with America, mm. you know, um, because, uh, well, it, there, 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 there's a lot that, that we have that, that that we have to work with over there, you know, most recently like Ferguson. And, I, you know, I just mm-hmm. don't feel like, like, you know, like I'm wanted, you know, or that I'm, you know, that I'm cared for there, you know. And so, like, you know, af- after centuries of the message saying, like, get out of here, you know, <laughs> but I left and, you know, but when I got back, <clears throat> I felt that um, that's something that I, I was missing something and that something was home. Mm. You know, uh, and so like all of, all of those actors who I saw on TV and films over here are the people that I wanted to be with. I right. never thought that I would be, you know. So so it, it's pretty much, you know, all of those A-listers over there, I definitely want to be with. Right, <laughs> you know, right. You know, but, uh, but, but those who, who, have, who, have, uh, uh, who have sort of laid the groundwork, mm. you know, and who have persisted, you know, and who are not uh, uh, expats, you know, looking from afar at America, wanting to be back there, you know, um, those who who did, who did that groundwork, you know, those are the ones that I want to, you know, that I would like to spend time with because the work still needs to be done, you know. Absolutely. And for me, and for me you know, stuff like The Wire, mm-hmm. stuff like, like, like Treme, working with, with intelligent writers like David Simon, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, that, and, that, and that whole HBO crew <laughs> who are using our craft to inform as well as entertain is where I want to be, you know. You know, unfortunately, we don't come out to theater uh, in, enough. But, uh, Agreed. Um, you know, but you know, if it was happening in theater, I'd be doing it in theater. You know, but uh, all of them, all of them. You know, and and, and starting with you know, and, and starting with the without senior without senior uh, performers. You know, you know, James on James on down. Really, 
Well, with Watch Clark. We want to induct you into the Midnight Hour Radio Show Hall of Fame. It, it started with Marilyn McCoo and Billy Davis Jr. I'm going to pass the buck to Mike G to do it tonight. Mm. Well, what we do the last, uh, you got about 30 seconds to um, give us anything you want to tell us, whether you want to sing, whether you want to, uh, I don't know if you want to give us a, a technique or if you want to inspire and encourage someone. And um, we induct you right now. We hereby. Inducting Clark Peters, actor extraordinaire, on the Midnight Hour Radio Show, Show, Show. We want to show, show, show. The very thought of y'all makes my heart sing like an April breeze on the wings of spring. When you appear in all your splendor, y'all's my one and only love. Okay. All right. Oh, Clark Peters. Thank you. And you know who was on before you? I told you, Lisa Ray. But she she came off a different way, Clark, than we ever thought, man. <laughs> and so did you. Inspiring. Beautiful. And, and so We did have you. fun, Clark, man. Maybe you can have, when you do a couple more movies or in the near future, you can come back on and we can do a righteous interview. This mm. this time we'll call you over the pond. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you, Mike. Well, thank you for reaching out and for considering me. It's been, it's uh, again, it's, it's a lovely blessing to be talking to you. Thank you, Clark Peters. Thank you. Thank on the Midnight Hour Radio Show. <laughs>